Very good. Yep. Hello. Test mic. And live. Welcome back to the stream. My name is Jonathan Santos. Joined here by Alec Tucker. And welcome to Shirama Beach for day three of the Asia Oceanic Beach Ultimate Championships. And it's going to be a fun game here. We've got Japan Iku, who's at the fourth seed of Pool A Mixed Division against Malay Malaysia, who's looking to get their first win here. It'll be exciting to see the team of white. They do so far. You got great movement from their handlers. Japan forcing them backwards, though. Japan in dark here. Great defense off the break. And a shot goes up. And there's that D. A nice layout from Japan. Early break opportunity here. And that was number 14, Anasi Kato, with a great layout D to deny, deny Malaysia its first score. Number 98, the handler picks up. Great fill from the top of the stack. Immediately shoots it deep, but just a little short. Unable to complete that one. Malaysia gets the chance to stay on serve. And Malaysia again. This will be start. The play will start with number 61, Sasha Selin Lim. No, sorry, it'll be 27. The end zone, bang! An early break for Japan. And great offense off of that dead disc, cutting from the top of the stack, filling into the handler position. Ooh, almost a bobble there, but recovers, shoots it deep, secures it for the score. Still updating the score here on the bottom of your screen. Again, we got Japan versus Malaysia here. Japan with the early break, making it one nothing. And I believe that was Masaki Noda, sister Rina Takeuchi for the score. And Takeuchi, that would be her fourth score in this tournament. So important in mix to get everyone involved. Need contributions from all of your teammates here. Oh, a layout to stop the pull from rolling any further. And then a quick one-two to push it nor near the brick. Centering the disc now. Great fakes from this female handler, number 44. Swings it and gets it right back up line. Now number one shoots it downfield to 88 in the middle. Back to 44. Great move it so far. A pick is called. Oh, almost a turnover, but number 30, Andon Wong, able to secure it. Looks like the disc... I think the pick was called way before Andon Wong had the disc. So it's going to go back to the excellent time there. Number 44, Wen Yan Li. Li. We retain disc for Malaysia. Great moving so far, Tucker, from Malaysia. Showing a lot of promise. This O-line staying nice and calm. Still so early in the game. Just got to secure this one. Ooh. Oh, what a pass, threading the needle there by 44 to 88. The edge the end zone for number eight. Oh, just, just bobbles through his fingers, unable to bring it down, 88 Chai. Japan, a chance, hucks it near the end zone. One on battle is going to be won by Japan. That was quick. Malaysia looked like they were going to get that score. Uh-oh, putting the sword of Excalibur down in the ground there. But this happened just so quickly. Picks up the discs, full field hawk, and great positioning by this cutter. Doing a little stutter step to get the defense off. And let's see if we can see this Selly one more time. 
But that was number one, Hayao Hira. Oh, amazing. Far from the amazing reach to get the score. Great celebration from Japan, as always, partner. And that's why it's so important to stay calm near the end zone, taking that extra breath, that extra second to get a simple, simple throw. Malaysia thought they had one there, but just bobbles through the fingers, and now it's 2-0 Japan. Not the place you want to be with if you're Malaysia, getting an early hole here. So, again, it's really about to Tucker's point. Just going to say that again. It's really about being calm and collected, making sure you make the right place in the red zones. Extremely important, not just physically, but mentally as you progress in this game. 98 just absolutely flying down the field after his pull. That pressure leads to an early mistake. Japan now. Another chance, 17 with it. Good fake, swinging it back to 36 in the middle. All the way to the break side goes Japan. A shot to the end zone, unsuccessful. I thought that was gonna be a good grab. Again, expected from that side to the sideline and throwing it across the field. Japan, well known to be able to execute those plays in Malaysia. Trying to get their first point. Oh, a turnover just goes to the Japan's player's teammate. Will she get it? And she gets it to go. Layout extension complete. And that is number 40, Nanasi Kato. Full extension needed. Again, just a short throw, that inside break, and a beautiful layout extension. To get that one, Japan, three breaks in a row now. They're rolling on the defense here. Very unfortunate for Malaysia. You really want to see them at least to get the point from those. They had just unable to secure it. It looks like with the Malaysia side, as you look at, the, look at your screen now, you can see the wind starting to pick up a little bit. So a lot of players or the teams here on this field need to adjust accordingly. And this Malaysia mixed team still without a victory, searching for their first win, getting encouragement and cheering from their sideline. They're getting loud, trying to hype up their teammates. Here we go, Malaysia. Off for the quick start here, quick one, two. No one's running deep, so it's gonna be a lot of, it looks like a junk defense from Japan again. Yeah, more of like a boxy type of zone here. Let's see how Malaysia adjusts. Ooh, great break throw to number 10. Yep, goes downfield, decides to, number eight, decides to look for a dump. Oh, oh, great tracking by Japan, forces a harder dump than usual. And number 44, Lee. Working together with Mok. 44 just putting in work, really trying to dominate this point. Ooh, and a foot block from Japan. Quickly picking up the disc and getting their offense working. There's a girl streaking deep. She's all alone. They're going to send it to her. Number 19, but just too far. Again, the wind playing a factor here. Earlier in the day, that disc might have just sat up in the air. But with the wind picking up, that one just did not have the right float. Oh, and she was just all alone, not a defender in sight. A bit of a rush job there from Japan. But so far, that's what we've seen for them. When you get the turnover, they just quickly pick up the disc. Not setting shot for Malaysia as far as defense goes. Great extension from Malaysia, number eight. Keeping it alive, he gave it to number 44, Lee. Lee sends it. Oh, and does he get it? He doesn't able, he wasn't able to reel it in. Yeah, unfortunate. An athletic play again from Malaysia. Oh, those were some great throws from Malaysia. A break throw to the sideline to break the zone. Kept working it up the break side. A beautiful deep throw, but just unable to get there just outside of the outstretched arms. But Malaysia with another chance here. Get the D near their brick. 
Foul contact called on the mark as number 10 was trying to extend for the around throw. They're looking for number 44 in the center. They get it to her. Eight for the continuation, but opts to go to number 22. Oh, another throw. That is just slicing through the D of Japan. Malaysia on the doorstep, so close to their first point in this match. And they get it. A difficult throw over the top that ends up in the center of the end zone. Malaysia on the board, one to three. And that's gonna feel good as you look from the replay from that amazing throw from number eight, Zeke Tai. Number 22, Zhang Hong Mok with his fifth score. And you can see how tired this team on white, Malaysia, had to grind out that point, and it's just happy to see for them be able to get their first point on the board. Day three of the tournament, last day of pool play for all these divisions. The intensity continues to rise as well as the exhaustion. These players are getting tired. Who wants it more? That is going to be so important as we approach day four and five. And as you mentioned there, talk yes, it will be the final games for round robin. So speaking for Japan earlier there, before we switch here to Malaysia, Japan with a two and two record, they sit number four on the, our fourth seed for their pool A. So a win here could help them at least stay for fourth seed that will bring them to the playoffs. So this is going to be a very important game for Japan. Oh, what an amazing pass back into the end, near the end zone for Japan. Japan inside, but I think that was just a little too low for Japan stays there. Malaysia, chance to cut the deficit to one. Trying for that inside forehand break again, but as you said, just a little too low, grazing the stand. But Japan gifted another opportunity, making quick work towards the end zone. On the doorstep here. Nice around throw to the middle. Easy swing to the break side. Good pump fake. Staying patient. Now they shoot it more to the break side. Over the leaping try of the Malaysia defender. Japan secures their first O point of this game. Gift wrapped indeed. Malaysia with an unforced error near the end zone. Japan credited them. Able to capitalize. Gives them their fourth point. That was our first look at the Japan O-line. Very nice job, great around throws, really working the whole horizontal space of the field. But it's the D-line that has really been putting in the work as you guys get a view of the beautiful Shirahama Beach here in the Wakayama province of Japan. Games also going on in Tanabe, the next town over. Have you taken a dip in that beautiful ocean, partner? I have. It is How's nice and cool and refreshing. I've yet. It's the third day. I've yet to be able to put my foot feet on those water. Maybe to our fingers and hands. Unfortunate. Oh, a run through D by number one, Malaysia. What an insane sequence there. Thought number eight was going to come down with that. She didn't quite jump high enough as it just bobbled through her fingers. But then her teammates picking her up, not giving up on the play. What a run through D. And that secures the point for Malaysia as they're starting to get in their flow. Two to four now in favor of Japan. And that was Josiah Wesley Lim with the run through D right on cue. But the great work of our cameramans here. As you mentioned, what a way to pick up your teammate and help out. And second score for Malaysia, just down two. Right back in this game here. Their O-line starting to make the necessary adjustments. And this is going to be our second look at the Japan O-line. Up to the Malaysia D here to pick up their team. Bring this one a little bit closer. 
for Japan now. People that are leading this crew is number five, Mana Horiguchi. He's got nine assists and three goals, followed by Rene, Rena Kuse, number 19, with two assists and five goals. And on this side for Malaysia, we've got number 22, Zan Hong Mok, who's got four goals for Malaysia. We'll look to see if they can get another one with this defensive play. Oh, line, rather. That pole just sailing out of bounds. Again, the wind playing a big factor here early in this game. Japan, opportunity to set up their offense on the brick. Oh, an immediate deep cut, but opts to go for the short pass. Engaging with the handler, switches to the cutter. Over the top, but Japan still able to get it. It looks like two players stole the disc from each other, but she quickly shoots it, gently falling down into his hands for the fifth point of Japan. Oh, and another nice sell. And all the flags of the nations represented at AOBUC. The Malaysia sideline loud, encouraging their teammates, urging them on here. As this O-line has really made some adjustments and gotten into a much better flow. Oh! Just when you were saying that, Tucker, just at www.withdiff.sport backslash A-O-B-U-C backslash. I know that's a lot, but you'll be able to look it out there and be able to see Whatever's on field four would be the showcase field and be able to watch a stream. And that's a sh awfully short pull there. Not sure if that's by design or just a mistake. Important to maintain energy during this game. We've seen this a lot from Japan. They're not going to have two handlers, just one, and then the top of the stack will cut and fill down. Beautiful deep cut from number 40. A fill cut. Gets the offense started. Around now to the center. Ooh, but too far. Trying to keep the disc swinging. Number 40 couldn't quite catch up to this one. Number 40 couldn't quite catch up to this one. The third chance for Malaysia on this point. Backhand throw to number five. Number five shoots it to the end zone. And a score for Malaysia. Number five with the assist. And a beautiful over-the-top flick to secure the O point. And that was number 21, Sean Lohr, reading it in for the score. Pass from number five, Kalista Liu Weng Yan. Amazing connection between those two players. Oh, a gratuitous layout at that. Again, the mirror will be at seven here. So Japan O-line, they have the wind in their favor. If they stay nice and calm, they should be able to take this to half and then get another chance on O as they started the game on defense. So a big, big moment here for the Japan O-line. And that last point was the longest, well, one of the longest, second longest point in the game that took around three minutes and 30 seconds. So if you're Malaysia, you don't really want to spend that much energy and time on the field, especially with this heat getting hotter by the minute. Looks like it's going to be a short pull again coming from Malaysia. And important, as important for Japan, it's going to be quite equally important for Malaysia to convert this. They and within just, striking distance. And just not what you want from Malaysia. Allowing Japan to set up on the opposing brick mark. That pull just never came in bounds. The wind's starting to pick up here. I can feel it at the back. And he sends it back there and just off. And again, here it is. Malaysia's chance to cut the deficit. Really important break chance here. Japan is going to be forcing backhand towards the sideline. A 
Oh, the wind is picking up. I'm not sure if you're picking it up from the mic, but the wind is getting stronger by the second. But Malaysia calmly swinging from side to side. Great movement from the handers. Oh, threading the needle to 44 there. Oh, and the wind just pushes that pass a little further. 22 was there. Oh, and a shot to the end zone from Japan. Almost there, but not quite down the line throw. Number 81 with the quick feet, but unable to get that disc. See, look here, the replay. You can see the best of best efforts by number 81, but again, the pass looks like got helped by the wind there. Maybe a little adjustment that both teams will need to see. And looks like an injury substitution is going to be happen. And that's going to be coming from Malaysia. It's number 14. Nadia Rudy steps out, being replaced by number 8. Ziketai. Swing to the middle here. Oh, and there she is. But the great bid from Japan to put some pressure on that throw. Japan back where they started at the beginning of this point, at the opposing team's brick mark. Swinging it to the middle. An easy throw. Gets Japan to half. And now the O is going to receive again. A chance to pull away even more. Seven to three now as we approach the mirror. So look at the replay and the quick movement from one side to the others. The number. And the Japan, that's number 81 actually a while ago. Strike made the layout, was able to secure it. Hashimoto, that's going to be his first call, first score in this game. As we approach half here, Japan. Key players that's been working wonders. Number 98, Masaki Noda with three assists. Will be joined with Mana Horiguchi, number five, with two assists of her own. Wow, just look at those flags. The wind really picking up here. It's going to make the game a lot more difficult. Really have to be patient. Secure these throws. Second half of this exciting game starting now. Malaysia on D. Set to pull. The three whistles go off. Japan waiting patiently as Malaysia throws it. That pull is going to be right in the middle, and that's going to be thanks to the strong winds pushing it backwards. And the winds are picking up stronger. Even here in the booth, together, myself and Tucker, we can feel it here. I hope our booth doesn't fly away because of the strong wind. Here goes Japan. Again, that interesting setup. Just one handler back, and the vertical stack. Makes quick work as Japan goes up eight to three. And I cannot overstate the importance of pulling the disc in bounds. When the disc sails out of bounds, whether a team sets up on the brick or sets up on the sideline, you're just giving them a chance to run a play, run their offense in the calmest way possible. Those three early breaks for Japan really paying off as they've got some breathing room now, up eight to three. A nice flick pull. That floats beautifully and ends up near the sideline. Ooh, 
Oh, close catch there, almost hitting the sand. Tough defense on the reset, but number one secures it. Another low throw, but the bidding try of Malaysia gets it. Number 88 swinging it back to the middle. Number one with the disc now, looking for a receiver. 44 cutting across the middle, but not quite there. A little bit of a miscommunication. 88 tries to get it, but just too far from the sideline. Number one with it now. And you can notice the pass is sailing a little too high. So if you're Malaysia, you want to at least get a little lower stance to make the pass a little bit lower than they want. Here we go again, a battle. Oh, 88 able to get that disc from a zigzag move here. And this force middle from Japan, really making the cutters work and forcing throws like that. Beautiful force middle from the Japan defense. Japan picking up now. Again, that fill cut from the top of the stack. 36 with the disc. Shoots it to the middle. Again, these discs sailing just a little high as number four shoots it to the end zone. And the wind playing a big factor here as that is a miscue from Japan, giving Malaysia another opportunity. I think with the with the win on Malaysia's favor, you'd like to think maybe it uh, looks like a timeout's going to be called from Malaysia. Probably to think, think about, apart from trying to rest in between, think strategy in terms of how they're going to adjust their throws with the wind picking up. I mean, if you're if you're Malaysia here, Tucker, I mean, how do you want to adjust your offense here? It's really important in a force middle to clear out that center handler give space to the other cutters to fill into the middle and you can also z cut you know fake the burger plant those feet come back to the middle of the field as you said john gotta adjust we see again the wind commentary because again our job here other than trying to discriminatory because again our job here other than trying to describe the place, we want to share the stories of all the nations joining this tournament. And here we go. Right on cue, number 44 with a great aggressive cut to get the offense started. Now in the middle of the field, 88 aggressive cut to get the offense started. Now in the middle of the field, 88 with a nice catch. Back to 44. Beautiful work from those handlers. Oh, a shot towards the sideline, just out of reach for Malaysia. Got to lock down to get this one back. That was Josiah Wesley's limb, number one from the team of white, trying to keep that play alive, but just sails out of bounds on this side, on the other sideline. And Japan, look, someone's streaking deep, and he sends it. He took a pause there. Will he have time? No, he won't. I think that decision for him to just make one stop starter step cost him to not be able to make a play. So important in the beach to commit to your cuts. It's very hard to catch up as a defender. So if you're going to go deep, go deep. You don't need to make a big fake. And if you're the hander anyways, if you see that hesitation, you can just opt to swing it. If you see that, oh, diving catch again from Lin, but unable to grab it. Japan gifted again. You can see the M Malaysia players breathing heavy here. Bit of a frustrating point as they've had a lot of opportunities to score. 36 with the disc now. Great swing to the middle. Continuation swing gets it to the break side and now into the end zone for Japan. Great horizontal movement, working it all the way to the other side of the field for the score. 
That's going to make it 9-3 to three. as you look here. The offense gets started with the swing. Another swing. And a third one to finish it off. Beautiful job from number 40 to get that one for Japan. And that was number 24, Haruo Minowa, with the assist to number 40, Nanasi Kato. And Kato, will that will bring... Number 40 scored to two goals already in this game. Oh, look at those beach umbrellas there. Looks like it's already going to be... Hopefully that's going to fly away. Approaching the last 10 minutes of this game. Close to the time cap here. Let's see if that causes either one of these teams to change up their strategy at all. Haven't seen any zone defense yet again from Japan. And maybe so they're happy to settle with their hard-nosed man-to-man defense because it has been working so far. You can see it from the score. Malaysia swing it to the other side now. Number 40 almost got her hand in there. And there she gets the D. Beautiful understanding of where to be in the lane. Oh, and that disc just slips right through the hands of the cutter. Malaysia quick to work now. Putting it up to the sideline. Tight one. Got to swing it off here. There's a player open. And now getting it off the sideline, that's gonna be a foul. Oh, and the rescinded call. Interesting rescind from number 21 as it looked to be some contact on the throw. It's gonna be Japan's disc right in the center of the field here. But just bobbled. But just bobbled. Number 81 for Malaysia unable to secure that. Over number 81 for Malaysia unable to secure that point. Ninety-eight Japan here. Oh, and a diving catch for the score. Ten point for Japan. Yeah, the Japan D, as you said, doing a little bit of a clam. Happy to give away some throws to the sideline. And then their quick work. That disc goes down. They pick it up immediately and set up their offense. 98 with another assist and a great layout there. You see some people playing volleyball, some spectators on the beach cooling down. Some players having some fun, meeting people from different countries. It's one of the amazing things about playing at these international tournaments. The community is alive and thriving here in Shirahama. Uh, so I'll definitely agree with you that, Tucker. I mean, I've been in a lot of sports communities in my experience, but nothing like Ultimate Frisbee community, second to none in terms of being so extremely friendly, being able to look at the find different people and understanding different cultures as well as you meet with different people. Malaysia trying to get their offense started. 44 breaks to the middle. Not quite there though. Another bidding try by Malaysia. Grab, what a grab. Almost on the sand. That disc nearly died in the wind, but able to get it Get it was Malaysia. And now this one just sailing too high, but 22, unreal concentration. Breakthrough now. The wind helping out Malaysia on this point. Number 10 with it to 44. Being patient back to the middle of the field. Twenty-two, swings it to eighty-eight. 
cutters. You can tell they're tired, not a lot of movement, and a great move from 22, putting the defender on some skates. Shoots it to the end zone, but that's too far. Over the top of the head, but a foul called on the throw. And when there's a foul called regardless... On the throw. And when there's a foul called regardless of the completion of the throw, it will go back to the defend uh, to the to the handler there. Uncontested by 51, so this is going to go back to the thrower, and the stall will be at zero as well. A little bit of dancing from Japan. And I think the decision there from Malaysia to throw it there was seems like fatigue has now been setting in. It's 22 and 88. That was mock. And Chai doing a lot of the grinding work for Malaysia. And someone streaking deep there for Malaysia, but Ops is swinging. What a beautiful swing, but just too strong there. He had the upline cut wide open. 88 made a great move. He just wasn't quite looking at him. His body was committed to the dump throw. Here's Japan now with a chance for a break. I wouldn't be surprised if someone streaks long here, but looks like it's gonna be a oh, cheeky pass there. Finally switching up the D for Malaysia as they're setting up a zone. Nice trap. Ooh, a floaty throw right to the middle of the field. Too easy for Japan. They were on the doorstep. They had the receiver, they had the throw, but just unable to convert. And you'd like to think, what if Malaysia tried that earlier in this game? And you see the first look, able to generate the turnover, forcing Japan to make a much quicker throw than they want to. Oh, a hand block at the edge. And two hands for security. Japan secures their 11 point. And a pose from Japan added to the celebration montage. Beautiful defense from Japan. Look at this. They're walking up, taps it in. Immediate hand block. Cutting, cutting, cutting. And that's a bookend score for Japan. And that is number 51, Sega. Segi Noda with a bookend score. And you can see the speeding speedboat. Maybe you should come and visit here and I'll take a ride as well. That looks fun over there, Tucker. Japan inching closer to the end here. They've really stifled Malaysia. As you said before, that O-line was breathing heavy and had to work so hard just to move the disc up the field. Looks like they're gonna force middle again here, Japan, and a nice break throw from Malaysia. Added in her hand for a second, but knocked it out as she dove to the ground. Beautiful swing to the opposite sideline. Opening up the space for Japan. 36 with the disc now, swinging it to 12. 12, back to 36, finds the easy dump. A nice cheeky break throw. And the continuation brings it to 12. And the point cup, right? A uh, time cap rather happens, so that's going to be a looks like another point to finish it off. The race to 13. And look at this patience from the handlers, knowing where the space is, just sitting right there in the middle, and then an easy break throw, another selly, and a high five to cap off this point for Japan. A strong showing from Malaysia, despite being down so big right now. You saw a lot of <coughs> promises from Malaysia being able to bring the disc towards their score, their end zone, but just unable to finish a few points there. But again, it's really about progress.
for any team. If you're a Valencia, I'd be happy to see that you're able to compete against the number four seed in full A for, against Japan. Yeah, and as you said, you know, these are extremely high-level tournaments. Everybody wants to come here to win. But this is also an incredible opportunity to learn. You learn so much from play, playing at these high-level tournaments. So big opportunity for everyone to continue to improve their game. And especially for Malaysia, a fairly young team as far as in the Asia circuit is concerned. So we're just happy to see from them how the sport is growing in their country, showing a lot of promise for team players, having an interest in international. And if I'm Malaysia, I would just be happy to at least, if I go back to home country, be able to share the experience to other players. And just build from that. Just go from there and see what they can do. Oh, nice pass there to the middle to number five. Yan, a dump to Lim. Lim is looking patiently, fakes the dump pass. Ops to give it to his teammate. And gets it to go for the fourth point. That is the first point of Malaysia in second half. Lots of positives for Malaysia throughout this game. They've been playing so well and just a few mistakes have been very costly. Right here, number one with the disc. A little bit of contact, but the mark backs off. Patient, patient, patient. Confidence in her cutter as she lays out. One-handed grab for the score. It's going to be the first time we see the Japan O-line in quite a while as Japan has just been on the break train, but let's see if they can finish this game off. 12-4 to in favor of Japan at the moment. And that was Josiah Wesley Lim with the assist to Zeke Tai. Amazing to see that from Lim, who's been really, I would say, one of the horses of, of Malaysia offense so far in this game. Again, this is about pride now. So if you're this Malaysia D-line, you got to be playing with a lot of heart and a lot of fight as Japan has their foot on the line set to receive the pull. But another short pull is going to give Japan an easier field to work with. And this is going to be number... 64, Kawashima is going to pick up disc. Looks like there's some communication, just looking. Oh, threads the needle, great break pass, but just too fast for number 40, Kato. And again, number zero just rushing a little bit. Unnecessary throw when you're so close to victory. Another force middle from Japan. Good job by the defender. Able to set that mark in front. Force the disc back to the middle of the field where the defenders are waiting. Number five to number zero. Number four to 40 cutting hard. And she gets it for the goal. Cut hard to the corner of the end zone. Found her in the back. Patient, patient offense from Japan is the story of this game as they win. 13-4. That was number zero, able to redeem himself, Kanato Misawa, with the pass to Nanase Kato. If you look at the replay, a little more patient earlier. It looks like he heard us and decides to send it over to Kato for the 13 point for Japan. Give them the third win and that solidifies themselves at least for the for now, fourth seed in the Pool A Mixed Division. So the next game we have in a few minutes will be, I believe, just checking on the schedule, but looking here at the wins here from Asia Oceanic Beach Ultimate. 